Hey guys, YouTube and Facebook have been real dicks lately, including Instagram, so please, please, if you're under the age of 18, don't watch this. If you're over the age of 18, you're cool. But before you get bored, let's just jump into it. Hey guys, Canagrow807 here. I hope you like that little bit of an intro there. We decided to get a little fancy this week. Before we do jump into this week's episode though, I just want to thank each and every single one of our new subscribers and followers on Instagram. Uh, we have our Easy Indoor Cannabis, uh, Seeks, 403 Paul, and of course our 200th Instagram follower, Happy Hippie Nugs. So thank you guys so much. If you want to be featured in this part and have a little bit of a shout out and people know where you where to find you, Make sure to give us a like, comment down below, and subscribe. Now, this week, uh, as you guys saw at the beginning there, we did do a little bit of a montage there uh, just to have some fun. Uh, we are dealing with some audio issues, as you guys saw from some previous videos there. But the uh, people over at uh, Luma Fusion have been absolutely amazing at trying to tackle this and find a fix for it. So we're hoping that this week uh, might be a little bit smoother and going forward as well. But uh, for right now, guys, we're going to be taking a look at the girls that we started out with. And we're also going to be doing a little bit of an update on our White Widow here. So let's take a look at her. As you guys can see, she's kind of taking the reins on her own. Nothing too big, no drastic changes, but she did get her second set of leaves this week, which is awesome. Uh, but literally, all I've been doing is watering at a pH of 6.0 to 6.5 with the other girls in the room. The reason being, obviously, is uh, I use, like I showed you in the first video, uh, Gaia Green Slow Release uh, uh, Nutrients. So... I literally just have to set it and forget it. There's no measuring every day. There's no humming and hawing about what's what. I just put it in and I let it go. And every four weeks, I just put a top dressing on. So with this girl here, she's not really going to need one because when I go to transplant her into the bigger pot, that pot's already going to have the amendments mixed into it for me. But what we are going to do this week is with the bigger girls, uh, we are going to implement some low stress training on them. Because as you can see, they are getting a little bit bushy, uh, including the smaller one. There's some nice uh, stems at the bottom there that are going to have bud sites there that we want to try and expose to the light. So what we're going to do is tie them down, get all of this bush kind of back a little bit. <laughs> Giggity. Um, and then we're going to attempt to just get some more light penetration <laughs> Giggity. Um, into the lower canopy of these girls. So that way the bottom... Uh, bud sites can actually reach up to the top giving us a more spread out canopy uh, and more even light distribution which means when it comes to harvest time those tops are going to just be covered with buds and flower that are going to be great medicine so let's uh, show you what happens when i low stress train now i didn't get a shot of this because like i've been saying at the beginning of this this entire season is just a beta. I wasn't even expecting on recording for this, but with everything that's been going on this season, I had no choice. So as you guys can see, I've tied down all of these stems here off to the side. They look extremely mangled right now, but they are gonna bounce back and I'm gonna leave them there for probably about a week or so uh, before I readjust any of the tie downs and uh, they're gonna start uh, looking really, really good and pushy. So here we go. I uh, ended up fixing this one up a little bit. Like I said, I ended up 
tying her down and as you can see the sides they're starting to come up a bit more now you can notice uh, the one shoot there coming up it's getting a lot bigger and bushier as well too the fan leaves are starting to get a lot bigger and uh, yeah so you can see off to the side there now that she's tied down those two uh, sites they're starting to pop up on the other side of the white widow and at the end of this week we have a couple more fan leaves coming out here but aside from that that's literally all we got this week guys so until next week thanks for watching don't forget to like comment and subscribe and until next week guys stay safe and stay high peace